It's an old-fashioned uh, kick-ass Foxtel reel. I just love it. Hey, um, thank you very much for coming. This is a, a more intimate presentation of what we're going to, to present tonight. Um, we wanted to make sure for all of you that largely come from the tech areas that we're able to uh, treat you to some more insights and questions and everything else. So thank you for coming. You, uh, you would have noticed as you came down the corridor um, on the way in that we did a little history of TV. You saw the black and white TV sets. Some of us are old enough to, to see those. That was the famous 1956 Bruce Kendall, Welcome to Television. Then in the 70s, we saw colour TV pop, something I remember as a kid. I remember specifically that once the TV was colour, not necessarily all the series were, but the ads were. And it was amazing to see that stark contrast. Um, so lots of changes over the years, but really for the last 22 years, it's been Foxtel, it's us, that have been right in the middle of agitating and changing and reinventing TV. To go from four channels to 20 channels to 100 channels. To go from standard definition to high definition. To bring in the IQ that seamlessly makes live TV on demand. To be doing now more than 10,000 hours of live sport. Games that are live and ad free. Linear TV to streaming and on demand. And our content too. You know, famous for our sport, but our Australian drama, our factual, and everything in between. I could go on and on, but the fact of the matter is we've been in the middle of it. We have been the ones that have been agitating and reinventing it. And we're going to do it again. That's what we hear about today. So we all don't, all of us get TV and we watch TV. It's not to see a picture on a screen. It's to interact. It's to share. It's to be emotionally involved, to escape or to be part of the action, say if it's sport. And that's why Aussies are investing in bigger and bigger TV sets. The average TV sold today is more than 55 inches. And I remember in the Delaney household, 2002, we got our first 40 inch panel. It was marked down, I think, from six grand to four. Took two blokes to carry it into the house. I couldn't believe how thin it was. It was only a half a foot wide. <laughs> and we watched it and we were in awe of this TV. Just loved it. It's pre children, of course. Just loved this TV back and forth. But you know, the years have gone on, and we get used to bigger and bigger and bigger, and we get bigger expectations. And as those screens get bigger, it's like stretching it on an artwork across a canvas. As you do that, the picture gets more and more blurred. And what was a beautiful picture then becomes not so great. Over a million. Uh, 4K TVs were sold in the last two years alone, and it's estimated in the next 12 months, 80% of TVs sold in Australia will be 4, 4K capable, and with the prices coming down, that is going to accelerate. Now, we talk to our customers all the time. They talk about a tablet experience and a mobile experience, about leaning forward. But they very much want a lean-back experience at their home that's as brilliant 
as the content they're paying for from Foxtel. So what's the solution? How do we crack that egg? So today we are announcing the next chapter in the ultimate viewing and content experience. From today, any set-top set box sold by Foxtel will be 4K enabled. So get ready to see content like never before. And that's just the start. From October, Foxtel will launch Australia's first ever 4K channel. So this is a, a group that will know what 4K is, but we want to demonstrate it. I don't know the whole pixels and everything. I'm a pictures person, so I want to introduce you to our little friend, the chameleon, and we're going to show him in SD. He's a pretty good looking little fella. Um, check his teeth out. We can sort of tease, see he's got teeth and he's on a piece of wood. Let's move it up to HD now. So now we're starting to see, really, he's got reasonably sharp teeth and he's on a reasonably, you know, well-worn piece of wood. But let's click it now into 4K. And so that definition completely comes into sight. You can almost see he needs to go to the dentist, and I reckon he's got to watch out for some termites on that log. But, but that is an amazing picture. There's absolutely no comparison between those four stances. So we know 4K is already in Australia. It exists. Um, almost every television sold is 4K, but consider how that's being viewed. Largely, it's online. So it's never guaranteed in terms of delivery, and you will never see live sport over the internet in 4K. Picture quality is absolutely dependent upon the speed and consistency of your home internet. For the odd episode or the odd movie, streaming might be okay. But we talk to our customers all the time, we talk to them about 4K. They, they gave us feedback. It's very hard to find 4K material. It's hard to get it working, and it chews up your bandwidth. So we noodled it and thought, how do we fix that? How do we make a simple solution? And that's why Foxtel 4K is different. It's delivered in 4K, guaranteed over a big, fat satellite signal. That means we can guarantee it nationwide. Doesn't matter where you live, doesn't matter what town, you'll be able to get it. We've already got hundreds of thousands of customers that take our HD service. They've been saying, when are we adding 4K? So for all of them, if you're an HD or sports subscriber and above, then it's included as part of your package, no extra amount. We've got a new set top too, the IQ4. It's got a far more powerful chipset that will be able to process graphics and recommendations like never before, and of course do tricks like the 4K picture and sound. It's the muscle car of set top boxes. The first thing it's going to power is cricket. So this will be Australia's first live 4K sports broadcast, and it will be cricket like never before. 20 times the definition of standard definition, and four times the definition of HD. Every ball of every over, of every day, of Australian prime cricket will be in one place on Fox Cricket. It'll never be interrupted in live by ad breaks, and now presented in 4K. And alongside that 4K, we've got an amazing selection of HD material that's ready to stream on all our set-top boxes. At launch, the 4K channel will showcase a range of documentaries, concerts, performances, music, and selected movie titles. And just like with our HD, we'll keep adding to the content and it'll get better and better. Then on 4 November, get ready for that fabulous experience of Australia, the Australian cricket team taking on South Africa, uh, all in 4K. So. From today, every satellite service purchased will connect via the IQ4, meaning that it is ready for when the 4K content hits in October. So today marks a new chapter in Australian TV. And at Foxtel, we're only just getting started. You should be prepared for a whole range of announcements of new products and new services over the next 12 months. In the meantime, we'd like to show you what the 4K looks like in video, and then afterwards, we're going to show you the 4K actually live off the satellite working on the IQ4. We've got them set up for you to play with, and then I'm going to ask Michael Ivanchenko to come and tell us a bit about it. So all these years on, with the greatest respect, we at Foxtel want to say, welcome to television, but like never before. Thank you.
amazing pictures. I wish I had a house big enough to have that straight. Um, everybody, I'd like to uh, introduce Michael Ivanchenko, who's our Director of Product. Um, Mike, first, tell us a little bit about the specs of this uh, 4K. What are we doing? 4K. So, starting at the beginning, you look at an SD picture, or average around 4 megabits a second, HD around 8 megabits a second on average. Our 4K service is 25 megabits a second. Right, so it's taking it, this is a big fat satellite. It's a big satellite. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, um, tell us about the new IQ4 chipset. So the IQ4 um, is like the next iPhone. While it's the same uh, software stack and an iteration, the chip is four times more powerful. It has a lot more memory and processing power within that, all the things it needs to do to be able to output 4K. Along with that processing power makes everything else on it better. Uh, recommendations, graphics performance, streaming, everything is up with data processing. And you, you mentioned the, the iPhone, so we see the IQ3 and 4 a little bit like that. Because they're IP based, we're going to be updating the software all the time? Very much so. So as we see new features coming across the range, they will apply to both the IQ3 and the IQ4. The IQ4 is capable of 4K in its resolution, but all other features are the same. All right. So we are, we are going to have a look at um, an IQ4 actually operating off the satellite, show you some pictures. Um, but I think uh, what's important uh, about the two of them is that we have been working very hard over the next six months on all of the things that we're going to do. Some products will be in different genres, so we're famous for sport, but we intend to be famous for all of the genres. The interface you see on the IQ 3 and 4, you will see evolve a lot over the next six, 12 months. So. Show us, uh, what do we got here? Is that Channel 9. Channel 9, right. So this, the majority of Australians? The majority of Australians, this is the television experience they have. Now obviously exaggerated on a screen this size, but on a, the larger the screen, standard definition, this is where you start seeing that picture being stretched and really affected. Okay, well let's, uh, let's go to one of our HD channels. So this is live, off, there you go, it's live off the box. Now we bring up Lifestyle HD. So the next iteration, an HD picture, uh, Grand Designs Australia, a material improvement. And here we see a major step up in quality. All right, so now we're going to go to live off the satellite, the vision that we were seeing before. Whoop, four, four, one, four. two, mini. There That's we it. go. Foxtel 4K. So that same reel you saw is exactly the same one we're currently putting out over the satellite with 5.1 surround sound. So along with the pictures, you get that immersive uh, audio quality. So at launch, it'll have documentaries, rock concerts, selection of movies. We'll hero the sport. I wanted to mention that to you, Mike, too, right? So we've, you can see we've already done a rugby league game. So the first live broadcast has actually already happened. Um, but tell us about that, because we're learning a lot, right? As we produce, what are we going to look out for when we're, when we're shooting it's, something like this? 4K uh, doesn't tolerate nuances and mistakes. Everything in your footage will show up. And the big challenge is around lighting. So where we actually, because you have such a better field of focus, if uh, the lighting is variable, let's say in the afternoon of a cricket game as the shadows come across the pitch, you start to get all of these challenges of how do I balance the lighting and making sure that we see all of that detail. So along with all of the technology of actually putting a uh, 4K signal up, it also ramps up the production need. Camera operators, everybody's focus. Camera has angles. To do camera so angles. panning is harder. All of that. And all of that detail we've been working through over the last six months to make sure we get right. Yeah, yeah fantastic. All right, well, um, that's the presentation. Uh, we'd love you all to come back tonight. There's a bigger uh, function that's, uh, that's, that, that we're doing tonight, same, same format, but and we want to know you, you're very welcome, but we wanted to make sure that you know, we're available. So we thought we'd just literally come down off the stage and take some questions. So. In the first period, 
um, when there's live cricket, 444 will have the cricket. Yeah. And then in the off periods, so on Sunday night, then we'll feature, you know, uh, a premier movie or... Um, not yet, but we're not going to stay still. We're going to move forward. Yes. Selected rugby league will be in 4K, and I'll tell you why. We've got to get more cameras into the country. And the beauty of cricket, oh, we'll make sure the Rabbitohs are on, but the, the beauty of cricket is that um, with a test, it's all in one place, and there's only one sport. Uh, we, it becomes more challenging with the bash, where it's all over the country, and it becomes more challenging with, uh, with home and away sports. So we're, we, we've got a track record of doing this, and we will absolutely, no, 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 and we'll keep building it up. The other opportunity is to pull back 4K broadcast live. So, you know, looking at Wimbledon, I think, was done in 4K this year, F1. There's a lot of opportunities for those systems. So can you repeat the question as well? Could I put dollar figures, this is an oldie but a goodie, around the size of the investment? It's sizable, very sizable. No, I can't. I'm not going to put it around, but, but it, 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 was, it was quite large. You talk about the bandwidth. So what do we fit on one transponder in SD? Full transponder is 38 megabits, so you can get one channel per transponder. So, and you can get 15 SD. Yeah. So that by itself is um, an investment. You've got to capture the live sport, you've got to build the trucks, and you have to do the play out. So it's, it's expensive. The length back from the ground. Yes? What's the, what's the upgrade path for IG3 holders? Uh, it just like an, it, when the new iPhone X comes out, you've got to go get a uh, new iPhone X. So you could stay with your iPhone, sorry, your IQ3, and it will do everything that the IQ4 does, but not 4K. So it will be, a so it will be yeah. yeah. It will be an upgrade. Yeah. David. Patrick, um, what's the costing model for this? Is, you know, you're obviously after a premium market now. Yes. And a, um, a bigger market than what someone like Foxtel now delivers. What's your pricing structure? Well, well um, we've got, as I said in the speech, we've got hundreds of thousands of customers paying for high def. Yep. If they've got a package with sport or above in high def, it's included. The whole yeah, idea is to reward yeah, those customers. If you've got an IQ3 box and you want to upgrade it, I mean, is there additional cost to go to that 4K yeah. box? Yes, there is. There is, and, and it will depend upon who you are as a customer. Yeah, okay. So we'll, we will be rewarding loyalty to the company and, and uh, how long uh, you've been with us and what the package is. Um, so, but it's not dramatic. I mean, to get an IQ3 upgrade today is 100 bucks. It's not dramatic. The investment for us is very much worth it. Customers that have an IQ3 love our product far more than any other, and it's obvious why. The, 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 um, the content's better presented, yes. Hi, Alex Sahara Wright from ITY. To prepare for the 8K revolution well in advance and to avoid uh, annoying all the Chinese people who are very superstitious about the number four, which is, sounds like death in Chinese, will you also rebroadcast 444 on 888, which is very lucky in Chinese. Well, and I'm being very serious because in China there's no level 13, there's no level 14. I'm not worried about 8K, I'm worried about I, I the Chinese who don't well, like to type in 444. I don't know that we're stuck on the channel number, it hasn't been launched yet, so we'll have a look at that. Well, I'd, re I'd put it on 888 we'll as well, because 4 is not a good number we for the Chinese. Have you you should have. Yes. Uh, uh, is there support for HDR content? HDR. So we're starting with uh, SDR content, uh -huh. but we've built the chain and everything we've done is HDR. Okay, uh, which so, standards? So LPE. Big one? LPE, isn't it? Uh, HLG, sorry. Oh, okay. um, it's, it's the ooh, ooh, standard. Yeah. HLG. So the, uh, as we add other channels, as we add other services, you will see them in HLG. Okay. Um, yes. So I can just repeat it again um, for the is video. Is there a timing on getting 4K to Foxtel now? Um, it's. Well, 4K on streaming for both the IQs and Foxtel now is in plan. What the timing of that is, um, I don't think today we want to talk about. There's upgrade parts for all of our products. The issue, of course, is, as I said in the speech, um, 4K in this country on sport, I mean, fr frankly, 4K in any country on sport, if you want to deliver it properly, is, is problematic over the internet. So, uh, yes. 
Don't forget and to repeat the question. What is, what is the end goal? Is it attracting new subscribers or pleasing the ones we've got? We want to love the ones we've got to death. Uh, and we want to attract more. Foxtel is a premium product and we want to add more value for people that want a premium product. And you will see more of that announced in the coming months. There will be lots and lots of new products that will be released. Yes? Will you support Dolby Atmos down the track? Uh, we're looking we'll at Dolby Atmos. Yes, we will. Uh, yes. Um, you are leaving everyone on cable on the satellites as part of the weekend to get people to accept the satellite box, so you really don't want to pass it. Don't forget to repeat the question. Uh, I hadn't thought of it that way. Um, the question was, we are transitioning off the cable. We are transitioning off the cable onto the NBN, right, supported by satellite. Is it part of the sweetener? You could look at it that way, um, but that's not where we started. Where we started was, how do you deliver a guaranteed 4K picture for the whole country for a really big screen? And I firmly believe these things are going much bigger. I mean, home theaters used to be the domain of the rich. Now the Delaney family with a 75 inch TV from wherever we get it, it's two and a half grand, and a soundbar does it. And you are so disappointed when you stretch it. So this and all of the increments that we do will really deliver. Uh, yes, up the back, sorry, I'll come to you. I've got two questions. One, is the existing Foxtel Android set-top box, you know, the one that looks like a little puck, is that 4K compatible? And secondly, when will you allow the Foxtel and Foxtel Now apps to run in the background so I can be doing something else if I'm listening to Sky News uh, as radio. And by the same token, <clears throat> when will you allow me to just have an audio stream of Sky News? So if I'm driving somewhere, and obviously I'm not legally allowed to watch, but I, so I have to pull the little screen down on the iPhone so that I, I can see the time and date and the weather, but I can listen. And uh, it's chewing up video bandwidth, which is a waste for you and a waste for me. Uh, listen, I tell you what, I'm sure that's all in contemplation and in plan, um, but down the track. Sure. And with the uh, existing... We are focusing on the big premium product. The message today is we're doing 4K, the IQ3 and 4 are streaming machines, mm -hmm. and that's where we're going hard at Foxtel. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes. Um, Patrick, just a quick question. As you transition into premium, what are the marketing initiatives you have on the horizon to reinvigorate what some people call a stagnant brand and prepare for the IPO? Well, you'll luckily, we'll make sure you're invited to all of the future announcements. <laughs> but I think what I'd ask you today is to have a look at today. There's nothing stagnant about what we presented today. You know, we've got plenty of footsteps and momentum, and that is what's going back into Foxtel. And you see that with massive investments uh, to do 4K, to have a new, very reliable set-top box that will be a, a brute force streaming machine, as well as doing what we do well, which is linear TV. Do you think that's going to be reflected in content you choose to debut early on? Um, the, because that's all over the media at the moment. Foxtel, new momentum. We just had News Corp CEO offering you that vote of confidence. Well, you've seen it today. You, you, he, he knows what's in the, in the track. Okay. And we're not going to announce everything today. No. You know, there's a lot coming this year. Mm -hmm. And it's all like this. So stay it, tuned. It's all really big. Stay tuned. Yes. Cool. Thank you. No worries. Um, yes, at the back. Uh, voice is a big technology that everyone's really yep. interested in at the moment. Is there capability for you to add voice? Yes. Cool. Yep. <laughs> uh, one more question down front. <laughs> Foxtel's a big and profitable business already, so maintaining that is a major goal. Adding value to our customers is a very worthwhile investment. Um, oh, we always would like to grow, um, but our strategy is to strengthen and main fo maintain Foxtel, and you'll see us grow in this area, but very much in other areas. Yeah, we're, we're, we're probably not going to express exactly what that is. Yeah. Patrick, um, if you've got a, a, a Foxtel customers come in by Telstra on the cable, are you going to transition them to satellite? those that have got an existing Telstra cable yes. account. So does that mean you take ownership of that account? No. Telstra is okay. a reseller yeah. of the whole service, so we won't be doing that. We'll be transitioning between now and 2022 because that's when the cable ends. Yeah. Cable becomes the HFC. And I remind everyone, the majority of our customers are already on satellite anyhow.
Um, we might wind the questions up. Yes. So long as you, yes. So you've got to upgrade to the box, um, and then the channel is included in any package of Sport HD and above. So, yeah, they, they have had 4K options at their servers where the consumers get the, that 4K over the internet, it's another issue. Secondly, the, the pickings are very thin. And thirdly, never in live sport and live material. So our positioning is quite different, right? We can deliver to the whole of the country no matter where you are. You don't need the internet to get it. And we can guarantee delivery. And we will build out our content in more and more 4K. Yeah. And I don't rule out streaming in 4K on any of the Foxtel products. It's just a matter of prioritising and getting to it. And we see as the NBN grows, and we have great faith in the NBN. Yes? Uh, given you have so much bandwidth at your disposal, will you ever be offering some kind of a broadband service over satellite, in addition as a bundle? That, that's not in contemplation, no. It, I think the NBN would, would, does do that and will do that. Matthew, just one question. Are you having to pay... <coughs> Um, additional fees for 4K content from suppliers, such as movies, TV series? Um, we are a very, very big user of content, yeah. and so uh, our deals are pretty good. But David, I think, I think it will be a bit of getting content yep. from, from studios and content providers, our partners, and partly will be <coughs> searching the world for more content as time goes on. So there will be some content cost to this. But we're very lucky in, the, in that we are the big buy, biggest buyer of content in the country. So we've got good partners. Um, two more questions. One, one here and one there. Yes. Uh, do you have to replace uh, your satellite, if you already have one, with a, a different satellite? No. 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 All good? Yes. <coughs> yeah, so, so clearly we are famous for our sport. Uh, I think the movies, it, the, the, two th the three things that really sting on this are live sport movies and documentaries. But don't underestimate the rock concerts and all the performances too. So, uh, you know, as we build this out, movies is probably next. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Beg your pardon. Oh, <coughs> uh, I thought about that. The sport, I think it would go with the genre. The sport, we would never break a um, uh, live game, we would never break a movie. Um, so we, we, I don't think advertising at the moment is a lot of I haven't thought about it. So, all right. Well, look. Um, thank you for coming today. You're all very welcome to come back tonight and have a drink with us. Um, and uh, we've got a few special treats tonight because we've got um, we'll have some, some content creators in documentaries. We'll be talking more about our cricket, and um, there might be a few special uh, surprises. So, thank you very much. Thank you.